Uh, my name is Jake Freestone. I'm the farm manager at Overbury Enterprises. Overbury is a village on the Gloucestershire Worcestershire border uh, where I manage the in hand farming operations on nearly 1,600 hectares of arable, grassland, and stewardship. Uh, we're combinable crops, we let a little bit of land out for vegetables, and we have a flock of 1,200. Uh, various breeds of sheep that are running the permanent pasture and also grazing lots of cover crops, stubble turnips, kale and things like that for fattening lambs on. Uh, we've been converted into no-till um, on the bulk of the farm, probably over 90% of the farm, uh, for the last two years and we've got some fields that are down to five years no-till after trialling a particular drill um, from New Zealand that we actually ended up purchasing in July 2015. Uh, No-till is really, really important to us. We farm on the side of a hill. We have lias clay at 100 feet above sea level. We have sand and gravel land, and we also go up to 1,000 feet on Breeden Hill on Cotswold Brash. Uh, most of the farm slopes downhill, so in terms of soil erosion protection, no-till is definitely the way forward. Coupled with that, we're also into cover cropping. So if our fields don't have a combinable crop on there for more than five weeks, we will put a cover crop on there. That cover crop is capturing sunshine, it's putting roots into the ground and to the soil, it's feeding the biology, the fungi, the worms, and actually protecting that soil, calling it uh, soil armour, actually keeping a shield over it to stop heavy rainfall events, compacting the topsoil, stopping the air getting into the soil, and uh, reducing the amount of runoff uh, surface runoff from the farm. So no-till is definitely the way to go. We're seeing a reduction in, uh, in weeds um, across the farm through its use uh, along with spring cropping. So there's a significant area of spring cropping, uh, peas, linseed, soya beans, buckwheat, vetches, um, all for varying markets as well as autumn cropping of winter barley, winter wheat and winter oilseed rape. We're a leaf demonstration farm which we were awarded in 2012 and uh, we've just been hosting an event um, based on intercropping. So our intercropping revolves around our oilseed rape at the moment where we sow various mixes of buckwheat and vetches and bursine clovers to actually um, help enhance the environment, increase water filtration into the soil and also fix nitrogen from the atmosphere.